Automatic packaging machines are very important part of industrial packaging and production. They ensure quick, safe and good packaging of articles to be transported all over the world. Hi, I'm Sayyad Zain Nakvi, a B.Tech third year student in the Department of Electrical Engineering from Aligarh Muslim University. I'm going to demonstrate the project on automatic packaging machine in an industry. This project is developed at the newly established Industrial Automation Lab in the Department of Electrical Engineering, AMU, and it is sponsored under TechWip 2 program by the Ministry of Human Resource and Development, Government of India, National Project Implementation Unit and the World Bank. The technical guidance is provided by ZMS Technology, Germany. This is the project overview. Talking about the real-world problem where the requirement is to fill a specific number of packets or objects in a box and then moving the packed boxes on the conveyor belt. The filling and movement of the conveyor motor must be a continuous process. Earlier, this process was done manually, which was time-consuming and inefficient. The process is started by the start button and different packets are selected from the three available options. A digital sensor senses the box and actuates the filling valve. The filling valve is opened and the selected packets start to fill in. Also, there is an emergency stop button to stop the plant in case of an emergency. Now, let us take a look at the automation concept. This is the three-phase power supply which is energizing the conveyor belt motor. Then, we have a light sensor installed which detects the presence of packets. In order to start the system, these are the start and the stop buttons. We are also having a Genetza power quality analyzer in order to prevent the motors from getting damaged due to poor power quality such as over voltage, under voltage, etc. Next, we have a central intelligence device that is a programmable logic controller. All the digital signals are connected to the PLC via hard wiring. For monitoring and control, PLC is connected to visualization system which may be either HMI or SCADA system. In our case, it is the Siemens touch panel. Basically, the PLC receives a digital signal from the sensor and it generates an actuating signal for operation of the motors according to the logic. The project engineering is divided into two parts. The first part involves the programming of the PLC using the Siemens Total Integrated Automation Software. The second part is about the development of suitable screens for overall visualization of the system using the Siemens WinCC Flexible. Before we proceed further, let us get familiar with the hardware used. This is our S7300 PLC. The first unit is the power supply unit. It has AC input with 220 volt and the output is 24 volt. This part is the CPU and these are the digital input and output modules. This is the unmanaged switch and these are the various Ethernet cables. This is an integrated uh, touch panel which in our case is the Siemens TP177B. In the entire project we have used Profinet so we have only Ethernet connection which is this. Now let us have an insight to the programming part. You can see our CPU is Siemens 314C2 PNDP from the catalog. Now let us see the PLC tags. These are the tags that we have defined for digital input and output and we have also used memory markers which correspond to intermediate memory states. We have also defined some tags so that input can be directly given through HMI. The programming is done in FBD that is the functional block diagram. We have used a total of 13 networks each dedicated for a specific purpose or action. Since the limited time does not allow us to explain the whole logic involved in the program, so we simply download it to the PLC and demonstrate the live working. Now coming to the visualization part. Here we have used the Siemens WinCC flexible software for designing our HMI screen. We are having two screens, the start screen and the process screen. These are the tags that we have defined for depicting the ongoing process. The acquisition cycle is kept as one second. There is a logical connection between the PLC and the HMI. The connection interface is the Ethernet cable and these are the IP addresses for the PLC and the HMI device. This is the start screen 
giving you a brief overview about the project and the project author. This is the main screen which shows the filler valve and the conveyor motor control system. Now let us download it to the HMI to have a stand alone operation of PLC and HMI. So we are now ready to see the live working of the project. This is the home screen. It contains the various details of the project. The Department of Electrical Engineering Industrial Automation Lab AMU. The topic of the project automatic packaging machine and the name of the author. From the home screen we will now move to the process screen. This is the process screen. Here we can see various buttons. This is the start, start button. This is the stop button. And these three buttons are used to select different number of packets to be filled in the box. This is the sensor that will actually count the number of packets to be filled in a box. We will start the procedure by switching on the start button. And then we will select the number of items to be filled. Now we will touch the sensor button. One packet will fall from the filler into the box. Now the second packet will fall into the box and after a time delay of certain second the conveyor will start to move and the box on it will start moving too. The forklift on the right side of the conveyor belt will carry away the box that has already been filled and a new forklift will bring an empty box to the other side. This way the process can be repeated again and again on the will of the operator. Another functionality of this program is the emergency stop button. This button can be used to stop the procedure on an emergency condition. Here you can see that on pressing the stop button, the sensor will not work as the process has been terminated. So this was all about the visual demonstration. Since improvement is a never ending exercise, there are a few steps that can be further implemented to make the project more advanced. We can make a small live model at the Department of Electrical Engineering. These are further steps for this project. Remote access for monitoring and control, cyber security for above steps, live model to control the number of packets and movement of the forklift, deployment of wireless industrial network, deployment of Profinet remote input and output, advanced power quality integration over Profibus. So this was all about the automatic packaging machine system. I would like to extend my gratitude to the Department of Electrical Engineering, Aligarh Muslim University to provide all the required facilities. I also express my heartfelt thanks to ZMS Technology for immense technical support and help. Thank you and don't forget to watch other videos.